Okay, hello. Welcome to my tasting project presentation. I'm Andrew Oha, and we'll go ahead and get into it. So the question today is, what is the best beer style? Uh, to me, one of the best things in life is being relaxed, calm, and, you know, just getting everything off your mind. So what environment uh, would you think would invoke that feeling? Uh, to me, along with probably many others, is the beach and what, you know, kind of beer is typically had at the beach. Answer, lagers. Um, for that reason, along with many others, is why I would say that lagers are the best beer types. So in order to, uh, you know, enjoy a good beer is to understand the history and all the ingredients going in to bring forth the enjoyment it yields. So uh, lagers were started in the 1400s in Bavaria. Uh, brewers would store them in cool caves in the mountains throughout the summer to keep them cool. And this allowed the yeast and the heavy matter to uh, settle for a clean, clear, and unique beer. Uh, at the time, the beers, the, you know, the lagers up until 1842 were golden, or no, they were darker. And then after 1842, as we'll go through, uh, produced the first golden lager, the Pilsner. And that was done by Bavarian brewer Joseph Grohl. He brought his uh, lager yeast and he worked with a Pilsen based company, you know, however you say that name. And uh, essentially, the Pilsen soft water, which is low in mineral content, allowed for clear reflection of the flavors. Uh, the local barley is low in protein, so that allowed for less haze. And the English malt kins that the company had allowed for a golden color. And this produced a gold, clear, crisp, and smooth, you know, just refreshing beer that the world has never seen before. And this spread in Europe like wildfire and, you know, eventually the world. So that's how it became the largest uh, globally consumed and produced beer, you know, so that's beer around the world. Um, here's my tasting card uh, breakdown. And as you can see, the lager won both the out of you know 300 points and the four star uh ratings so yeah uh getting into my first uh tasted beer that is victoria it's a mexican vienna style lager as you can see it has an amber color and it has a toasted malt caramel then a crisp uh, hops flavor it has a smooth frothy frothy uh, light to medium body and it is mexico's oldest beer since 1865 Unfortunately, it's not as big here in the United States compared to some other like uh, Mexican lagers, but I uh, work at a family friend's Mexican restaurant, so that's how I had this for the first time, and uh, it's one of my favorites now, so needless to say. Um, uh, my second beer I had for the tasting project was the Czech Var original Czech lager. It has a pale color. It has a uh, rich, bready maltiness and a soft bitterness and floral, spicy flavor. As a sweet, deep, golden body. And honestly, um, you know, having a lot of American lagers, I wanted to try the traditional and I didn't think, you know, I was going to be too much intrigued. But this one uh, really, really showed me kind of some traditional lagers, European lagers. And I was a fan, especially the maltiness uh, it had. So fun fact about this one is the brewery um, was founded in 1895. Um you know, to kind of restore the beer at the time from a German style to a Czech style. So that's uh that's how that beer was was produced. Um my third one was uh bearded iris. It's a pep it's called the pep top uh pep top lager. It's a German Pilsner and it has a clear light yellow color. It has uh flavors of key lime, uh white grape cider and overripe passion fruit. Uh, just overall citrusy kind of flavor. Uh, reminded me of an IPA without the hops. So that's why I really liked this one. It has a clear light golden body and is brewed close in Nashville, Tennessee. So those are the three I had for the Tasty Project. Uh, that's what the can looks like. And here are just some of my other favorites along with probably many others. It's There's a wide uh, diversity and variety within lagers. So that's... Um, you could have them for many occasions as well. So, um, yeah, my final pitch, my final last point is that loggers are badass, as you can tell by the advertisements um, shown here. So thank you and cheers to loggers and 
all of the beer styles. Thank you.